Hello there everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about one of my favourite shows of all time, Men Behaving Badly, in the collection, DVD, DVD collection. Um, basically, this is one of my favourite comedy series of all time. It's probably my second favourite, maybe just part of Men Behaving Badly. But yeah, I don't really like it any less, so... Um, anyway, let's <coughs> start from the beginning. Um, Memory Haven Badly um, started out as a novel written by Simon Nye. Um, th this isn't the novel, by the way. This is a different book, which I'll get to later. Um, and basically, um, he was just a banker then, Simon Nye, who wrote it. And <coughs> sorry, my um, throat's a bit dry. Um, but anyway, um, basically. Um, the producer, Bo Vir uh, uh, a television producer, Bo Virtue, um, came across the book and uh, she read it and thought it was really good, so she thought it would make a really good um, TV series. So, um, so then um, she, she and uh, Simon and I went to uh, ITV, and they, and they, and then ITV read the book and they thought it was pretty good. So. Um, so then, uh, Bill Virtue thought that if ITV are going to pick this up, they need someone who's quite well known. So they decided they decided to cast um, Harry Harry Enfield as Dermot in the in the series. Um, and then ITV said, "Yeah, we'll we'll commission it." And then they persuaded Martin Clunes as well, <coughs> as well as Leslie Ash and Carl and Quentin to do the first series of Member Haven Badly, which was first commissioned in first aired in nineteen ninety two. Um it's a pretty good it's not well it's not a bad series. It's it's not it well it's nowhere near as good as the as the series that follow this but I haven't watched this series in a long while actually. But yeah, Harry Enfield and Martin Clunes were the men behaving badly in this series. Um yeah, it was okay to start off with, but it wasn't. It was okay. It it, it attracted um some good um high view high view viewing figures. So ITV were pretty happy with it, and then um and then um basically Harry Enfield just said um I don't want to do another series, so he left. And then the producers were kind of well, everyone was kind of oh no, <coughs> the series is going to go to pot now. Bill Virtue knew the producer that the show was going to be um, that that he was going to leave after the first series, but he didn't tell anybody, tell anybody else. So yeah, this is the first series, just a one disc, of course, which all of our work condition inside. Um, so yeah, that that was the first series reaching broadcast on ITV. And then after that, I was like, ah, who, who, who should we bring in? So, considering Dermot was was the lodger, um, in in Gary's in uh, Gary's flat, by Martin Clunes, she thought, well, he can move out and a new lodger could come in, and that was when Neil Marcy came into it, who, who played Tony. And then this is this is a really good series. Tony, for me, is a lot better in this. He 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 just, he just suited the series a lot more. Um, <coughs> and and basically, um, um, Gary and Tony just they, they just looked a lot more convincing. They knew each other in real life as well because Martin Clunes sort of recommended um, Neil Marcy to to um, to do the show, and, and he did. And so yeah, this is the first series. Um, sorry, I didn't mention the episodes of that series. I can't really. I haven't watched this first series in such a long time. Um, first episode's okay, second's okay. They're, they're okay. That's what you can say about the first series. Um, episodes in this, the first one's really good, sort of um, in introduction into, into with um, a, a good introduction to, um, by Neil Morrissey. Good episode, that, good start. Um, Rent Boy. Um, I think, yeah, I think that's the one where Gary 
thinks um, Tony is gay, but it turns out he's not. Pretty funny. How to dump your girlfriend? So that one is I'm trying to think on them now. So many of them. Um, oh, to think. um yeah, that yeah that, that that's a good episode. Um, yeah, yeah, that's a good episode now. Um, I won't have to explain it, what every episode's about because it wastes time. That one, that one's a really good episode. Um, well, I'll explain that one if you want. Um, basically, in, in, in this episode, um, Gary, um, um, gets his record of, of Dorothy. It's her like favourite record, and it's painted green. It's like a limited edition, and it's worth. Well, he said it reckons it's worth loads of money. So, and basically, he um, gives it to Tony to sell because he he owns. He's in this record company, and they sell records, and and then he sells it, and Dorothy's like, um, oh, we'll play that. Um, we'll play my, my favourite um, record tonight. And Gary like shits himself because he just sold it. So he he, go, he goes back to Tony and says like, "Oh, where's that record?" And he said, "Oh, I sold it this morning." So then he gets the regular edition and paints one side green, but he doesn't have time to paint the other side. So like, so he he just tries to like disguise it and stuff. So great episode that. I recommend you watch that one. Um, going nowhere. Great episode. And people behaving irritably. Uh, good, that that's a good episode. Basically. I'll explain this one. Um, basically, Tony brings round. I think I can't. Remember, I can't. Remember, I think it's his. Uh, I can't remember now. Um, his. I can't. Remember, his brother, I think, and then his girlfriend. Um, they come round to like the weekend or something because they've got nowhere to stay. I think. Yeah. Just trying to remember everything. There's like the six series plus like those few a few specials. So it's. Just remembering every episode. I know all, but I'm just like when you when you look at it, you're like, oh, what's that one about? Anyway, yeah, second series, which was the the last one to be broadcast on ITV, because the ratings kind of went down a bit after Harry Enfield left, and ITV were like, no, the show ain't going nowhere, so we're we're um, cancelling it. So then I thought, well, that's it. But then um, I try and move, try and move a bit quicker, more quickly on, and then. The producer Bell Virtue went over to uh, to BBC, I mean, and tried to sell it to him, and the BBC liked liked it, and uh, and said, yeah, we'll 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 bring it on. Then they thought, well, the first two series were aired pre watershed, so before nine o'clock, so there couldn't be any swearing or basically sort of tone down the the chance to. Behave badly, really. So, it, yeah, series two is a good series, but it is probably the tamest. Um, but yeah, this is when it got fucking awesome. Um, when the BBC took over, because the BBC are just like the, are the best at making comedies, as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, this is the third series. Um, it's really good because they kept the same cast and everything, so nothing changed. <coughs> Do apologise that um and basically yeah so yeah this is the third series oh this goes for me not good right um if i scratched i'll check later um yeah the third series is just the same as ever little bob something so yeah um First, first episode, um, really, really good episode. That lovers, um, um, yeah, really, really good episode. That um, it's just like a bit, just like an introduction into the sort of new style and everything. Um, yeah, cool episode. Episode two, bed, really good episode. Actually, I, I like this one really a lot. Um, so yeah. Yeah, um, really good episode. Basically, um, it's like it's the middle of the night, and um, and Dorothy has some bad indigestion, 
So she gets Tony to go out, not Tony, sorry, she gets Gary to go out um, in the middle of the night to uh, get get some painkillers and stuff, or well, to get something for her indigestion. <laughs> yeah, and he goes back and forth all the time because he's uh, he first does he lo loses his wallet, then 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 he gets back, finds his wallet, goes goes to the shop again, and then he loses his keys. That's really funny. And then and then Deborah. Um, played by Lizzie Ash, um, gets um, Tony to go and like fix the fence outside. So he, <laughs> that's really funny. And then he just, um, just basically takes down the fence <laughs> to say, uh, yeah, takes down the fence. So yeah, I'm moving quickly. Uh, casualties, great episode. Weekend, um, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. That I think, I think this is the episode where um, Tony gets a job in the in the local pub, and he wears that that o o over the top um, suit with a bow tie. Great episode, Keen Lady. I really like this episode. I know I've said it to everyone, but I like most of these. Um, <coughs> Uh, basically, um, Gary and Tony's flat is like really dirty, so they so Gary brings in the uh, cleaning lady who is who who he um, basically falls for, and then <laughs> and he just he, he like brings around for extra cleaning all the time, and then and then he try and then Tony and then he, well uh, and then he he um, he tries to hide her from everybody else and. And pretend she's like really ugly, but she's not. So then, um, so then he just gets it to to, to himself. Um, and then also Tony. Um, um, in the, in this episode, um, joins this mo modern age agency, but he keeps getting turned down a lot. <laughs> yeah. No one mentioned is that. Um, which I should have mentioned earlier. Gary and Tony go out. Um, yeah. Gary and, Gary and Dorothy, sorry, go out with each other and Tony is always chasing after Deborah, which is another thing, so with that. Yeah, if there's anything you missed out then, sorry, apologise. Yeah, really good episode. Marriage, yeah, that's the one where Gary gets drunk and proposes to um, Dorothy, then realises what he's done and then he's like, shit. So, good episode that. Been running for 12 minutes. <laughs> Apologise, this is a long video. Series 4. I got series 2 to 5 from Poundland actually, and got the rest online. Um, series 4. The second BBC series. Um, babies. Really, really good. Um, yeah, really good ep episode. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just checking something. Sorry, I was checking something. Yeah, really, really good episode. Identity really good. Basically, um, Gary in this one is suspicious that that Dorothy's going. That Dorothy's seeing someone else. So he like spies on her. Cool episode, pornography episode, not literally pornography, but basically Tony in this one gets a girlfriend and and basically she's she's like um um I'll, I won't go out of you anymore unless you chug away all these porn mags. Um, three girlfriends. Tony in this one. <coughs> Goes and goes out with three girlfriends at the same time. Really funny episode, and then it all goes wrong at the end. And drunk, yeah, I can actually remember all these now. I think um, drunk episode, basically classic. What episode where they get drunk? Typical, and maybe around the start. In Barry Dorothy, awesome, awesome episode. This basically in this one, and um, Tony gets. His gla Tony's Tony gets his new glasses, and, and everyone and they all like literally like take the piss out of him, calling him specky, bullwizing, etc. 
playing away, um, just checking something, uh, yeah, this is the episode, I believe, yeah, where Tony sleeps with Gary's girlfriend, Dorothy, very, very funny episode, and then, and Gary comes back and then, like, realises what's happened, so, <coughs> Yeah, anyway, um, fifth series, did you show the four, yeah, to make it sure. and the disc has fallen out again, what the hell is happening there? Sorry. So these cases are really cheap and shit, no, no, no wonder I've got these on Poundland. Got, I actually got these for Christmas. Mum and dad, mum, mum got, or was it my dad? Got, got me from, got these from Poundland for me like Christmas. Anyway, um, 2009. So I've had these quite a while. Um, right. Episode one of series five. Awesome, awesome episode. Of this basically, um, Tony comes back from being on like a holiday. <laughs> and and he comes back with a beard, so then G Gary thinks he's, he's broken into it. He thinks it's somebody else has broken into his house. He's like, he's like, um, take take anything you want, but don't hit my face. Cool. The good the good pub guide. I think this is yeah. I believe this episode where where um the pub that they get, that they regularly go to is changed, and they get a new landlord. The original landlord was a Les, played by um, Dave Atkins. Good episode. Um, yeah, good episode. Cowardice. Th this is the episode where um, Gary's trying to prove himself that he can be a good boyfriend to um, Dorothy, and that that he's not a wimp because there's a situation where, like, and sorry, my arms yeah, killing here. Um, on his camera, um, where the Dorothy gets threatened by this bloke because he, um, I think he, I can't remember actually, I think, I think he thinks he crashed into his car and then he like frightens her and then he didn't do anything about it, he just sits there like doo -doo -doo. and then, then, then towards the end he, he, um, hires this bloke, um, <coughs> that, he can, that he can beat up, but it turns out that he beats up the wrong bloke. <laughs> And <laughs> just beats up somebody random. Anyway, if that made sense. Um, your mate be your bird basically in this episode Gary Gary realises that Tony in order for this to work with his relationship with Dolphy to work, he has to get Tony to move out, so he does, and then Yeah, that's <clears throat> not, not a bad episode. Cowardice where Tony comes back to the flat. Um I'm trying to think which one that is actually. Yeah, um, I apologise, um, I'm trying to think, uh, oh yeah, great episode, that is great, yeah, good episode, not bad one, um, so yeah, and these two, these two are really good actually, I'll explain these two, um, episode six, rich, rich and fat, Good episode, basically, t um, Tony in this one, um, uh, basically thinks he's, um, getting fat, <laughs> so he, he tries to lose weight, tries to go on his diet, um, yeah, that's basically the story of that one, um, home, homemade sauna, um, awesome episode, basically, Dorothy and, D and Deborah, um, go out on this, I don't know how it is now, they just go out for like the day or something and then Gary and Tony left alone, well, left alone and um, basically they they bring over the two girls from from next door and um, and they and they put up this barbecue but set fire to the fence and basically Gary shags one of the women next door and then yeah, that's it. There's that. <coughs> Sorry if I'm crap explaining things. I'm just trying to, without making this video too long, just trying to get through everything that I can. Right, 
series six, the final series, and the disc has fallen out again. This disc I got online actually, but yeah. And for some reason, <clears throat> I got this on Play.com. Well, a couple of years back now, and I have this weird PC worth thing. I don't know why. But anyway, yeah, that's the disc. I might as well put that back in there actually. So yeah. Stag Knight, really good basically. Um <coughs> this one it's a knight. <coughs> Sorry about that. I do apologise. Uh um Yeah, in in this episode um it's the night before Gary and Dorothy are gonna get married. Um, they do, they do decide that they are going to get married this time, and they go on this stag night. They get pissed up, and um, and Dorothy sleeps with the bloke, and um, Gary sleeps sleeps with a woman. Yeah, and that's really funny because in that episode, um, uh, when he wakes in the morning, he realizes that he slept he slept with this woman. And then as, as she walks out, um, he, he sees a bloke coming out of um, um, Dorothy's flat upstairs. Well, Deb was flat, which um, Dorothy stayed at that night. Um, or, no, I think, yeah, yeah, no. By then, Dorothy had moved in with Deborah, so they can she can help with help with the rent. Uh, and then, and he, and he goes, oh that. That 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 was a man, and then and then and, and Tony goes, Ronald, you 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 pay good money. You 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 pay good money money for for a woman, and it turns out to be a bloke. <laughs> Funny. Um, I just a little quote there. Uh, wedding the episode where um, Gary and Dorothy are going to get married, and it turns out to be a bit of a shambles, and they don't end up getting married, and basically. <coughs> The first, for the first time, um, Deborah and Tony get together in this one. Because um, he, by well, then he'd been waiting like five years to get with her, and then eventually does in this episode, um, and uh, and he gets her to write down the piece of paper. Y you will sleep with me when um, when Gary and Dorothy are married, but they don't get married, but they do it anyway afterwards. Episode three, yeah, that's a good, great episode of the way. This is an awesome episode. Basically, they go on this trip in a caravan, and all sorts happens in this one. And basically, Dorothy's trying to get Gary to quit smoking, so um, um, yeah, and all sorts happens in that episode. Like the and Tony gets jealous of Deb because of that. These are, these other two men are around. Um, anyway. What watching TV? Fairly good episode. Um, just a classic example of them sitting down watching TV, or all or, or four of them. Yeah, they get. Oh, yeah, that's basically it, really. And and um, <coughs> and in this episode, Gary tries to pretend that. Oh, Gary, Jerry tries to pretend that that they're not in the house when the pizza boats come. So then, so then, so then, um, um, so there, yeah, so then they, they'll call up the, I'll explain that again, basically, um, they all, uh, basically, they order a pizza, and, um, they, they pretend they're not in the house, so then when the pizza bloke comes over, the pizza's not delivered, and then Gary will ring, and Gary, the plan is that Gary will ring up and say, where's my pizza, and then, so then the pizza bloke would send they would get the pizza for free <laughs> that's basically not, not a lot of it not a lot of it happens there, so it's not a bad one it's not the best one but it's okay Ep episode five um good episode and um, basically um gary and tony for the day look after this um kid and they, t and they teach him all sorts they teach him how to sort of drink and Throw cans of beer and stuff. Good episode. Um, I'm trying to think here. Sorry. 
thing, yeah. But anyway. So yeah. Anyway, um so far is the final final episode of the last the last series. They did some specials which I'll show you in a minute. Um so yeah, so far um fairly good episode basically. Um Deborah and Darby want um Gary and Tony to get rid of their old sofa and buy a new one because the old one's that disgusting and stuff and it's too old. But that's basically the plot really for that and then they yeah, it's pretty spot for that. Fairly simple plot for that one. But it it is funny that one there, because uh, Tony I think I think that's where Tony wakes up with a hangover. Yeah, oh, uh, so I think I think I'm not sure I get confused. Um so yeah, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's the one where, where Tony, well, yeah, he wakes up in the morning, I think, and then he and then he realizes that he bought a snake for the previous night when he was pissed off. I think that's the one. <laughs> and then these are the specials, the last ones. In 97, they did a special called Jingle Balls. I only just got these recently. Actually, I've had that. I had Bruce Zero's one to six for about two years. Maybe two and a half years, and then I recently got these specials about two, two or three months back. Oh anyway, yeah, um, the Jingle Balls special. Yeah, funny episode. Um, not not my favourite episode though. I I like it, but I don't know. Not when I will watch all the time. It's yeah, it's not, it's not about one. Basically, it's just them all having Christmas together. So yeah. <laughs> and then the final trilogy which is the DVD called The Last Orders the final three of them made which is broadcast in late 1998 um, performance, Gary Enough and deliver, delivery of the last of the episodes um, okay, based in that episode um Gary and Dorothy decide that they want a baby. Gary and Love is the episode where, um, well, I think, well, Dorothy wants a baby, but Gary's a bit weary about it. Um, great episode. I like all three of these, actually. Um, Gary and Love probably my favourite episode of the three, basically. They go to this, all four of them go to this hotel, and they, and Gary and Tony get pissed up, and, and, and they steal this big fish off the top of this building, and somehow manage to get in the hotel. <laughs> yeah, really funny. Um, yeah, really funny that one. Um, and then like, there's a big search for where the missing big fish has gone, and then they they put it. God knows how they got it into their hotel though. And then the final episode, which is delivery. Um, when it's in nearly half an hour video. Yeah, bastard. Anyway, um, delivery final episode where Gary and Dorothy do have the baby, <coughs> and basically Tony in this becomes a postman and basically leaves his immature ways behind him and becomes quite a sensible bloke <laughs> until the like towards the end of the episode where and then well and then Deborah sort of Deborah prefers him how he was you know that the immature sort of person and then he comes back towards the end of the episode with him and then the don't go in North you have a baby so yeah that's how it finished and they did do some um and they, and they did do some comic relief specials as well. Um, also, I'll show you this quick book as well. The book that I got 50 pence from a car book sale. It's a script book of like, the episodes. It's pretty good. And also, um, just a small thing to say. They are, they, are, they are releasing a new box set celebrating the 20th year, 20th anniversary of the show. And basically... Um, it's got the the original Lost Pilot, which um, which was made, which has never ever been seen. I do actually, even though it's the Harry Enfield series, I still kind of want to see it. They're also putting the current release specials on there, and all sorts of special features. Uh, I'm quite happy with this though. I don't think I'll bother getting the box set, but I'll wait until see it comes out and see what's on the set, and then you know, just to. Uh, just to one thing that I'm more, this is a DVD I printed and burnt myself. It's a 
basically t the two two other things that Martin Clunes and Neil Morrissey did together, aka Gavin Tony, um, Hunting Venus, which was a comedy drama on our TV, um, 1999 after they finished Dim and Paving Bradley. Really, really funny actually. Basically, in this, Neil Morrissey dressed up as a woman, and but, but I'll give you the plot to this. Basically, um. Um, Martin Clunes and Neil Morrissey were in this old 80s pop band and um, um, let me move them out of the way and um, and basically the, the, um, Martin Clunes who plays Simon Delancey is kidnapped by these two women who want to fought, reform their band back and then Simon Delancey um, <laughs> Finds out that Neil Morris is a woman, and, yeah, and then they do fall at the end and sing and everything. And you can't get that on DVD actually, but I did find it. I downloaded it legally, of course, not illegal. I don't do that shit. Anyway, and then BBC, um, BBC uh, show documentary about men, men down under, which has never been released on DVD either. But but there you go. This is the only way to get them in it. Uh, they are on, on on YouTube. The, these these two as well. So you want to check them out. They are on, they are on, on YouTube. I know someone's uploaded them. So yeah, this is a documentary about them traveling to Australia. Cool, funny, and they are these two guys are really funny in real life as well. Um, they hilarious. So yeah, this is. Call me sad for doing my own DVDs, but yeah, so yeah, this is a did pretty good out for Diddy's on like sticky labels. So yeah, and there's like a little article that I found on the internet, like it's uh, in the newspaper, Men Behaving Glamly, and it's on about that episode. So yeah, um, there is my Men Behaving Badly DVD collection, it is in fact, this is probably the longest video ever done on YouTube. So yeah, this is my Men Behaving Badly DVD collection. I love this show so much I can talk about it for ages. So yeah, this is an awesome show. For, for, from the 1990s. It is still funny today. It's an all time classic. <clears throat> it's an all time classic. Check it out if you haven't already seen it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.